Lord, I thank you so much for today. Father, we thank you for the cloud cover and for the small taste of rain. Lord, we are grateful for the opportunity we have to push open these gates, Father, and to see these cars pass through. And Father, to realize that they're not just cars, they're God, but they're souls. Father, people that you have brought here to have an experience with the living God. And so, Father God, may you give them eyes to see, may you give them ears to hear. And Father, may you give us a mission, Father, that we believe in, that we proclaim who you are. Your goodness, your might, your mercy, your grace, your love. Father God, may that flow out of all we do. May you be our source of strength. Father, may we um, cling to you in this. May we abide in your word. And Father, may it fill us up each day. Lord, we love you. It's in your son's holy and precious name we pray these things. Amen. 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 Hey, Jigs, so yeah. I just saw a guy, he's coming to drop his kids off to camp. Yes. And he worked here 20 years ago, and he remembers you from 20 years ago. And so he couldn't believe that you were still here. He was so excited to see you here. That's right, dog. What do you think about that, Jigs? Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. That's pretty incredible, dude. It really That's pretty awesome. awesome. <laughs> Thursday night is Commando. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite theme night is Commando. Favorite theme night is Commando? Yes. What do you do during Commando? Do you have 10? Bust all the campers. Bust all the campers? Yes. What's your personal record? It was 24,998. 24,998. That's crazy. Yes. That's incredible. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Yes, we do. I love it. Jiggs Gaffney has been a great friend and inspiration to me since 2006, which was my first summer working as a videographer at Pine Cove Christian Camps. What I noticed about Jiggs early on was his enthusiasm to serve and his loyalty to his friends, which was evident to me every day. For 37 summers, Jiggs has spent his time at the Pine Cove Ranch Camp, participating in programmatic events like skits and videos, and assisting the leadership in making sure that camp runs smoothly. If you ask Jiggs, he would tell you that he is the assistant program director. Hold the ball. Jiggs, where are you keeping score that game? Pass is about 14,050 in Cash is now 1540 As a videographer, I had the pleasure of working with Jiggs on multiple video projects that we would show to the campers throughout the week. Jiggs was no doubt the star of the show. 
After a few days at Pine Cove, I realized that this camp would not be the same without him. Earlier this afternoon, local hero Jiggs Robert Gaffney set a new world record at the ranch zip line. After months of training, Jiggs shattered his old record and set a new one at 3.7 seconds. Here's some footage from this historic event. I fought the record! I that's the fourth record. And we have the privilege of having Jiggs with us live for an interview today. How are you doing today, Jiggs? Fine. Jiggs, tell us what you were thinking during your initial fall on a zip. I made golf with doing well and, and uh, it's very far from certain and going fast. And uh, it's a broken record of 19 seconds. Jigs, what advice do you have for all those future record-breaking zip liners out there? Uh, zip line, uh, not a chance, uh, not just no way to break my records. It's also, that's the fun about that. Wow, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jiggs Robert Gaffney, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Thank you. Jiggs, how many home runs have you ever hit? Uh, those, so far, none. So far. Last time, last, last time I had two. Yeah, it is good back. What we what we evil time this time? <laughs> right over there. All right, here we go. Wow. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Wow. <laughs> All right, ultimate face be next. Ultimate face. Are you gonna say? I'd say. Awesome. Jake, do you stand for ultimate? Yep. Yes. Jake, did you bring your water bottle today? I did. Uh oh. I left from I my you, room. I bet you can't drink three cups of water. <laughs> I bet you can. We've done this before. I don't think you can. You watch. <laughs> What's your name? Matthew. Matthew? Welcome to Ultimate Frisbee. Do you think you can drink three cups of water? That's one. Oh. Oh, one. <laughs> one. Oh wow. No way you get three down. Yeah, that's that's no almost way. two. No way. Two? No, it's not gonna happen. Uh -uh. No way, Jigs, no way. You can't do three. <gasps> I bet you, you can't do four. <laughs> I bet you can't do one more. Three? You can't do four, I bet you can't do four. <sighs> three enough. <laughs> <laughs> Three's enough. Alright, so like Jig says, when I call your name out, tell me your favorite movie. Wonder it with the Aggies shirts on. One with the Aggie shirt on. What's your name? Jenna. Jenna. <laughs> okay, Jenna Daniels. Um, bench warmers. Bench warmers. Shrimp Griffin warmers. Hess. Um, the Green Hornet. The Green Hornet. I haven't seen that one yet. I never seen it. Madison Hanks. My favorite movie is Harry Potter Seven. <laughs> Great choice. I just saw it this past weekend. I, I'm not seeing it yet. I'm gonna go see it tomorrow. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. I gotta go see it. But it's your it. favorite movie? You yes. know, okay. you know it's he knows. Favorite. He knows it's gonna be that good. I gotta go see it. He hasn't seen it yet, but it is his favorite movie. Yeah. All right, Jigs, what's today? Today is Ultimate Frisbee. That's right. I think what Jigs offers, uh, maybe to other people who do have a, you know, mental disability, I think it's just to realize that those things don't have to limit you at all. I think too many times we get so bound by our weaknesses or those limitations and we almost use those as cop-outs for not taking risks and taking chances. I think too many times even as people we are so scared about what people are going to think of us if they really knew 
our true self. If they really knew who I was, what would they think of me? And to be honest with you, Jigs doesn't care. Jigs is so comfortable with who he is. And I think because of that, people want to be around him. Yep. Jigs has been on staff at Pine Cove since 1978. Well, Jigs is the youngest of, of, three, of two other brothers. They're real close in age, but uh, I started to notice when Jigs was probably about six months old because he had these two brothers right ahead of him. He was not progressing like they did. Every birthday. <laughs> Jigs, thank you so much. You're welcome. That was so wonderful. How are you? I swear playing the uh, ultimate Facebook. Oh, you're, you're playing ultimate frisbee? Yeah. What was it? Did you win? No, we lost. That's okay. Did you have fun? Yeah. That's awesome, Jigs. I heard that they're starting to um, do some filming for you. Are you going to be in a movie? I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. How uh, excited are you? Do what? Are you excited? <laughs> I just have more to come sell it. Oh. I may go eat lunch over breasted. Okay. Tell her about the Coke machine. I buy co Coke machine. Oh, I buy Coke machine. It's broken. Broke it. Uh, oh, no. What are you doing at free time, then? Do you have to stand in line? Yeah. Oh, Jigs, I would, if I was there, I would try to fix it. Because that is, that's so sad. Uh, what, whatever. Uh. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Big deal. <laughs> I'm really glad that you called. That this just made my birthday. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe better than the last year. <laughs> it's, you know, it is. You know, it's making it better than last year for sure. Good. Well, have fun at basketball, Jake. Yeah, you too. And I'll talk to you later. Happy birth. Happy birthday. Thanks, Jake. We'll talk to you soon. I'm gonna go eat lunch someday over brisket. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, right. bye, Jake. Bye. Happy birthday. Open up. I love watching our staff get to know Jigs. I love to get to see them um, interact with him and to realize, you know, I think from the beginning they, they start to think, wow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably really help Jigs out and, you know, I'm going to probably try to be a blessing to Jigs any way I can. And I think by the time they leave at the end of the summer, they realize that Jigs has been more more of a blessing to them than they ever could to him. And so, you know, they may help him tie his shoes from time to time or get him ready and, and to the right places. But, man, Jigs is, um, is constantly reminding us of just the joy that's found in the Lord. What's up? Are you in King Classics? I am. Yeah. I am. Oh, yeah. Yep. We're going to play Capture the Flag. Oh, Capture the Flag. Yes. I never played before. Play before. You never played? Oh, well, this is your time to shine, Jigs. This is your moment. I play on defense. You play defense because you got to have offense and defense. Really? Yeah. Because you got to defend your flag from the other team. But then you also oh, got to go on. find the other team's flag. Do you want to go, and, go ahead and sit in a circle? Let's make a big circle, guys. I know we are per circle in. Let's go over here and we got to find it. A good place to hide it would be up here. Well, the boundary line's over there, so we can go anywhere over here. So where do y'all think would be a good hiding spot for our flag? Uh, oh, behind the tree. Under the tree. Yeah, we can't the tree. go over there. No, okay. Behind the tree. Wait, just behind the tree? I think that's a good one. Okay, let's go up there and see if we can find a spot. So, take it up there. So, we need us. We need some strategies. Um, because they're going to probably, if we guard right here, then they will see where our flag is. So, we want to try to make them think that it's somewhere else. Where's the, so the flag? 
Their flag? Yeah. We don't know. We gotta find it. Come on! Come on, boo! Jiggs, did you get the flag? Not yet. Where is it? I don't know clue where is it. You'll find it. Don't come get us out of jail. We're in jail. We're in jail. Ah! We need out. Help us. I'm being tortured Help by us. these two girls. They're making me sing them a Christmas song. It's torture. Wait, what? Oh, no. Y'all break for jigs. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're not making you sing Christmas songs. <laughs> Why do you want me? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Wait, I'm, I'm, you can only save one person at a time. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. But you can save Jake, so you save Jake. Okay, she's gonna take you over there. So you save some skin over. Jake, who won? I think blue team won. Are you on blue team? Yeah. So you won? Yeah. 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 I know the sweat. Yeah, the sweat. You see my sweat too? Yeah. <laughs> but, huh? How old are you? 55. 25? 25? 55. 50? No. Yes. Are you, are you joking me? Are you a joker? No. Oh. No, 55? You're... My dad's 56. You're younger than my dad, Jix. I'm trying to fish I don't think my dad could make it a day at camp, and you've been here all summer. Because you're the, you're the best, Jix. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, Jake, you want to go against me in pickleball in a while? I uh, can't wait to have a challenge. Uh, at wait, 5 o'clock. What challenge is it? Council for the camera. Basketball? Basketball? Second half of free time. Second half of free time is in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Of course, I have a Bible study in 10 minutes. Oh, well. But you know that Nina and Honor here is a champ at pickleball. See, I'm not good at it. Yes, you are. I played you yesterday. Jake, we've, played, we've played ping pong before, and you, 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 just know, you know your way around. Uh oh. Right, for jiggles. Thank you. Jigs, what do you say, man? We accept for activities. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll play you. For campers, you know, I think most campers don't even know about his disability, to be honest with you. But what they see from him is a guy who loves life. Good guy, guys. Good job, Jigs. Yeah, I'll be there. And that's what Jigs does. He brings an experience to campers where they're having fun, where the struggles that are going on in their life, they feel more open to share about that because Jigs is just a very open person himself. So I think that's the thing he brings to campers. It came the time when Jigs was 21 that he no longer could just go to a school. The law was that he could go to school until he was 21. And, and then through that 21st year. But then I'd have to find some place for him to be, and I had to work. And somebody said to me, well, have you ever heard of Pine Cove? No, I had never heard of Pine Cove. 
After hearing about Jiggs' situation, Dr. Phil Hook, who was the executive director at the time, called Carmela and asked if he could meet with Jiggs. So Jiggs went out to Pine Cove for the very first time. Dr. Hook and the ranch camp leadership team agreed to let Jiggs stay for a week to do small odd jobs around the camp. Within a few days, the staffers and campers fell in love with Jiggs and he became a huge hit around camp. So we took Jiggs to Pine Cove. He's been there every year since. It's been 35 years. He has spent every summer at Pine Cove. He stays out there, he has his place, and uh, I go out and pick him up on Saturday, pick up all his dirty clothes and everything, take him back on Sunday, and this has happened every year. It's wonderful. Jake, when does flag start? We got 15, 20 minutes. Ever, ever, Kevin Chair. What? Ever, Kevin Chair. Flag after Kevin Chair? I mean, after Kevin Chair. Thirty seconds. Lord to show you how to live out this truth. So you just write down a prayer. For instance, like it's talking about he must increase, but I must decrease. So my prayer is pretty much on humility. Hey guys, we're working over Brandon Bell. Yeah, we're not going to this. Huh? It's 20 on Monday. Oh, 820? Yeah. What happens if someone rings your bell? Get fired.
Jigs, are you in the skit today? I am the last one. All right, let's What's practice. your skit character? I'm just got Nate, and uh, I am Ranch Legend. The Ranch Legend. What are you doing here? Why have you sent us on this mystery? What? A oh, hold on. Because I want to. Because I want to have a big party with all the ranch friends. I have a party. Oh, that sounds like right. We want to have a party. Yeah, and you wanted to teach them about the ranch. In the mystery. <laughs> in ranch in the mystery. Oh! Not misery. Oh. Mystery. Oh, Who no. are you? I've just got that. I'm a ranch legend. You're a ranch legend? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Well, what are you doing here? I am just. Uh, everybody fight. Oh. Jigs, where'd you get this box? I have no idea. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, why did we get a mystery with your name why on it? Why did you say your name? Are you behind a mystery? That's right. Wait, you're behind a mystery? That's right. Well, why did you make a mystery? I, I'm i private of Hawaii Police Department. Hawaiian why Police, Police Department? Department? In your spare time? Yeah. Wow. Well, what do these guys do? What are these do? guys? It's my cousin. These are your cousins? My cousins? Okay, so the ranch camp has this game that's been around for 30 plus years. It's called Commando. It's, it's a nighttime type game that every junior high boy loves. You get dressed in your camouflage, dressed in black, and you're trying to sneak through the woods here at the ranch camp to get to the kind of this fort and come back and survive the game, shall we say. I didn't do anything wrong, I think. For 33 years, Jiggs has been the Commando boss, and that's a big deal. He is the one that announces to every camper that comes to this camp, the campers always lose a commando, and he gets into it. He's commando boss. I'm a, I'm a rebel force. So who do you think's gonna win tonight? You'll find out. Y'all lose tonight. Yeah, a camper's gonna win a commando. Just no way. Just no way. <laughs> I, I think, I think camper will lose a commando on first. Tonight. Campers always lose a commando. Of course. Always. Oh, of course. It's because you're the commando boss. That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> How many campers are you going to face tonight? Uh, uh, three guys tonight. All three of these guys? Yep. This, this and one. him too? Yep. Awesome. Jigs, how many campers are you going to bust this week? At least 28,900. How many campers are you going to bust? At least 40,000. No, Jigs, that's 30,000 less than last week. you got to go bigger than that. Go At least 100,000. Jakes, Jakes, we love Jakes. Oh, are we getting your video? No, for me. Sorry. Camera always lose. Have the campers ever won at Commando, Jakes? Uh, no. You make sure of that? Yes. What happens if they do win? Oh, man. Don't yeah. ask. That's right. Camera always lose. Okay. There's the roof. You see, the camera run it. Send him back. Send him back. Okay, for sure. So they're running for oh, yeah. No questions asked, right? No questions asked. Look up flashlights. No, no flashlights. No flashlights. Said man tires or second tire. Yes. Hey, Jake, so there's three rounds, right? Uh, that'd be the last round. Okay. You always stay around for me. They said red light, busted. Oh yeah, they're still busted. They're coming. 
Turn off flashlight. All right. Where are we going, kids? You're so like this duck. The campers smell like dead skunks? Yes. <laughs> You're both in it. You're both in it. Your lunch cake is already gone. Go back. Someone already took it. I am going back. Hey, stop right here. Bust it. Bust it right here. Give me a life chip. Crush it right in front of him, Jigs. Let's try. That's right. Busted. Yeah, you're you busted. Totally busted. Go back. Cheeks. Busted. You two. Oh, look at all of them. Four. Five. Right you right over right there right. behind the tree, you're busted you're too. You're busted. Are you serious? Yeah, you're busted. Yeah. Cereal. Right. Right. Let's try. Go back. You're busted. I have a rainbow force. I'm on your side. Bad idea. Official score update from Jigs. Commander Boss. Captain. It's now the Tim Fallon 223 in Timber. Oh, we lose. Jigs, that's the time. Official score update from Jigs, Robert Captain. Counselor, 10,228. Camper. 23. 23. 23. 10,223. Camper. Zero. Camper. Always. Woo! How do you think the movie filming is going? Oh, great. You enjoying it? Oh, yeah, Baron. I like Baron and Tom Selleck. You do look better than Tom Selleck. What did you do today? Uh, uh, ran fun of the commando training. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How'd that go? Great. Did you win? Yep. Why? I got the, I swore all campers war gun. <laughs> you got the campers with the water gun? Yeah. As always. How long have you been here at Pine Cove? About 37 summer. 37 summers? It's like 36, 34, 36, somewhere around there? Yeah, 36. Now it's 37 summer. You've been here a long time. Yeah. You love here? You I love, love here. You love it here? I always wondered how I was going to handle this. You know, you do. What are you going to do? If they can't go to school, if they can't do this, or if they can't do that, it's a big problem. And their daddy was sick and died with cancer. He was very supportive. Not all fathers are. I, I just, I, I, can, I cannot, I cannot make anybody who, has, who does not know anything about Pineco, I know they would never understand how wonderful it is. It is a special, special place. It's, it's wonderful wonderful, wonderful input into children's lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jigs. And I, nobody knows that better than I do. Jigs, how long have you had this Bible? Uh, no, that's long. You don't know. Do you read it a lot? Yes, yeah, sometimes. It looks like you do, because every, a lot of this stuff is underlined. Yeah, it was right. Did you read anything this morning? I read part yesterday. You read some yesterday? Yeah. It's a piece of another Christ, and another crucified, and another Jews. Several. Boys. Twenty-four entered them with Pukala, and Jews, Greek, and Christ. Here in verse twenty-three, what what's underlined? Read that part. But we preach another Christ crucified. But we preach Christ crucified. 
Why do we do that? How are we saved? We got to die for us. Who did? Uh, I. Let's see. Yeah, you said it. God died for us. Yeah, that's right. Jesus. Jesus died for our sins. Yeah, for our sins. What happened after that? It said. What happened after he died? After that, because I, I already said he was set me free. <laughs> that's right. He died to set us free. And then he rose from the grave, right? It was a grave. How many days after? Third day. Third day, that's right. On the third day, he rose again. Rose, rose again. Do you believe that? Yeah. Yep. That's awesome, Jigs. It is awesome. Love you, buddy. You too. All right. Jigs reminds us, you go all out every day. And I think people take that into the working world, into their family. Um, so I think that's one of the ways he's inspired many, many people. If this guy like Jiggs can have an unbelievable influence in life, what about me? I should never doubt myself. I should never look at my weaknesses and say, ah, I'm just not good enough to do those things. Jiggs is um, a great reminder that the weak need the strong, but, but the strong also need the weak. Um, and so I'm eternally grateful for what Jiggs has, has brought to this ministry.